Hi everybody, this is Courtney with Fiber Fox Studios and we are beginning the Native Bliss Cal today. This crochet along is done for this right here and several other projects which there is information down below in the description. There's also a link to the Etsy store for those of you who prefer to use the charts rather than the tutorials that are done here on YouTube. You can purchase the chart set that gives you all four of the actual designs in the um, what you're seeing here which is the shawl and there are some alternative versions there is also the border chart and there is a chart for each pattern done individually so for those of you who want to mix up and not use these patterns in the exact format that i'm going to teach you this one right here is what we're going to learn today. This is pattern number one for the Native Bliss shawl or blanket or scarf. There are several options that you have. And then we'll be moving in to pattern number two next week. Then we'll be on to pattern number three, which is just like pattern one. It's just worked in the opposite direction. So all of your, your work is going in the opposite direction. And then in week four, we will be working on this pattern right here. And then we will finish up with going back to pattern number one, which I will not do a separate video. You'll just be referring back to the first video to do this pattern. And then week five will actually be putting on the border. This is a double sided or enclosed border or double enclosed border so it's work to hide all the tails really simple patchy tears design so hopefully you guys like that i haven't shown any pictures of it um previously so what i do want to point out is there are three different projects that i've worked up the starting chains for those will be down in the description we are going to be focusing and talking in the terms of making the shawl because that's the pattern that I've released or the pictures that I've released but the directions are going to be exactly the same for the scarf version or the blanket version you are just starting with a longer starting chain that is really all that you're doing this shawl measures a total of 61 inches long by 22 inches wide with the border and you of course can make your border wider than what i'm showing here and we're going to get started by doing our starting chain so it, no matter which project you want to do we're going to grab your crochet hook and at least two colors of yarn and get started so i'm going to be working in a green tone yarn for my color a we're going to be beginning with color a i'm going to get all this beautifulness moved out for those of you who are curious about what the back side looks like it is striping and you can kind of see almost a shadow effect of the patterns that are worked so let's move this out of the way and get started we're going to begin by doing our starting chain for the project that we have decided most of you are going to be doing the shawl so you will be chaining 76 if you're doing the blanket or the scarf version just refer down to the description to get your starting chain once you have your starting chain ready you want to come back and meet up with me at that point and we will begin row one we're going to be doing our starting chain working in color a so make sure that you start out with color a to begin your work i here am using this green tone yarn for color a and i'm ready to begin row one so if you're not please pause here and come back when you're ready for the rest of us we're going to move on to row number one row one begins now we're going to work a single crochet into the second chain from our hook so we are simply going to skip this very first chain we do not count the loop that's on our hook so we're skipping the first chain and working here into the second chain so we're just going to insert and make sure that we get under that v to do our traditional single crochet right here in the very first stitch of our row Now we will begin row one's repeat, which is a back loop only single crochet, picking up that back loop in each and every stitch all the way down. 
last stitch in the row will be a traditional single crochet. So you are just going to complete your single crochet working in the back loop only all the way down the rest of your stitches or chains and then we will meet back up at the end of the row to do the row in together and so you can pause here and we'll be back in just a moment. We are now here at the end of row one and we are going to be working this very last chain together. So we're going to be inserting into this last chain, making sure that we go under that V because we are doing a traditional single crochet. You will always do a traditional single crochet working under the V in the first and last stitch of every single row. Now I'm going to chain up two because we have to bind off and switch colors. So for those of you who are new to mosaic crochet and this is the first video I do recommend or first video you're seeing I do recommend that you watch a couple of the beginner friendly uh, ones that I have here on the channel that playlist will be linked down below but I've just clipped my yarn I'm going to place my thumb and index above and cinch it down to form that little knot that is how I prefer to bind off you can bind off whatever way you prefer so at the end of row one, this is what we have. We just have a simple little chain, it looks like, nothing too special. We are now going to grab color B and begin working with color B for row number two. Row two begins now. We're going to be inserting here into this very first stitch. Mine is a little stretched out, but that's not a problem. We're gonna make sure that we go under the V and we want to get into the very first stitch of the row and join on color B this time. So we're joining on color B to our hook. And I'm just going to show this um, on this row how we join on from here. I'm going to assume you're really familiar. So I like to just pull up that loop and then we chain one. So we grab tail and working yarn in my case. Now we're going to allow the tail to fall here to the back. And we're going to go here into the same exact stitch. We want to make sure we're working into the same stitch to complete the traditional single crochet. So we're doing our traditional single crochet right here in the first stitch to begin row two. Now we're going to be doing the same thing that we did on row one. We're going to be working in that back loop only all the way down this row. So all of your single crochets throughout the project except for the first and last stitch. All of them are gonna be worked in the back loop only. So that's what we're gonna be doing throughout this entire tutorial. So you may pause here, complete a back loop only single crochet all the way down in each and every stitch. Last stitch of your row will be a traditional single crochet. So we will be back in just a moment when you are ready to move on to row number three, and that's where our mosaic work is going to get started. Row three begins now. I have joined on with color A into the first stitch of the row doing that traditional single crochet. Our repeat for row three begins now. It begins by doing five of our back loop only single crochets over these next five stitches. So we're doing our single crochet, working in that back loop over the next five. So there's one, oops. here's number two, Number three. Four. Five. Now we will do one of our double crochets. Our double crochets are all drop down double crochets. We just wrap our yarn around our hook. We identify this next stitch and we slide directly down two rows below. So one, two, and we're going to pick up that front loop that is left by doing the back loop only single crochet. So we're going to pick that up and do one double crochet. Now we are going to do one single crochet working here into the very next stitch again just in that back loop. Now we're going to do one double crochet so we're going to wrap, identify this next stitch, slide down, pick up this front loop, 
and then we're going to finish out a double crochet don't get really tight tension right here you don't want to draw everything upward now we're going to end our repeat by doing four single crochets over these next four stitches so again all of these are worked in the back loop so here's one number two number three and number four and that ends our repeat for this row so we're going to recap that real quick our repeat began over here with five of our single crochets we did one double crochet one single crochet one double crochet then we ended our repeat with four single crochets so now we're going to start our repeat again. So our repeat begins immediately with five single crochets, always working in the back loop. So there's one, two, three, four. and five now we will do one of our double crochets so it's a drop down double crochet one now we will do one single crochet right there in the very next stitch so we're going to make sure we know how to identify where our next stitch is when we fold this back we are covering up one stitch back there when we have one double crochet so we're going to work right there beside it into the next stitch doing a single crochet and then we are going to do a double crochet now we will end the repeat by doing four single crochets over these next four stitches there's one two, three, and last but not least, number four. So you will pause here and you're going to continue to work in that same exact set of stitches doing your five single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, four single crochets all the way down. The rest of your row we'll meet back up when you're ready to do your row end we are here at the end of row three and we're going to do this row in together all of us will end up with two stitches left at the end of our row after we finish a repeat so i have just finished a repeat here i have two stitches left we are going to restart our repeat for one stitch so our repeat begins with a single crochet And then we know last stitch in the row is always a traditional single crochet working under that V. So we make sure to do our single crochet right there in the very last stitch. And then we chain up and bind off. So every row end will work exactly the same. You'll have two stitches left. You'll start your repeat again for the second to last stitch. And then you will do your traditional single crochet in the last stitch on every single row. And this is what your work is looking like after completing row number three. We're now going to move on to row four. Row four begins now by joining on with color B this time. So we're going to begin our repeat for row number four immediately. And that repeat begins with four of our double crochets. So we're going to wrap our yarn, identify our very next stitch, which is right here for me, sliding down two rows below. Picking up that front loop and you just finish out a normal double crochet from there. So we're going to do a total of four of these. So there's number one. Now we do number two. Number three. Number four. Oops, try not to drop all your stitch work. 
Now we will do two single crochets over these next two stitches. So we're going to identify the very next stitch, pick up that back loop only, and do one, two single crochets. We will now do one double crochet right here in the center. We will now do two single crochets over these next two stitches. One and two. And then we will end our repeat by doing three double crochets over these next three stitches. Wrap, slide down. And we will do one double crochet. Number two, and number three. And that ends the repeat for row number four. So we're going to recap that really quickly. Our repeat began over here with four of our double crochets. We then did two of our single crochets, one double crochet, two single crochets, and then three double crochets. So you'll begin your repeat again for row four immediately. We're gonna do that together one more time. So we're gonna begin by doing four double crochets. So we identify our very next stitch. Slide down and pick up. There's one double crochet. Here's number two. Number three and number four. Now we will do two single crochets, working in that back loop only. There's one and Two. We will do one double crochet, dropping down two rows below, picking up that little bump right there. Now we will do two single crochets over these next two stitches. There's one. Here's number two. And we will end our repeat by doing three single crochets over the next three stitches. So we just simply slide straight down. If you find that your stitches are getting crooked and kind of sliding over, then what you're doing is you're not going directly down. So just make sure if you see that happening, all you need to do is just line up and go straight down. There's number two. And here is number three. So you may pause here and finish out the rest of your row. We'll meet back up one more time to show a row end, and then we'll be moving on for row number five. And this is what your work is gonna look like as you progress on down. We are now here at the end of row four. And just like before, I have two stitches left. We're going to work those stitches by starting the repeat for one stitch here in the second to last stitch from the end. So we're going to start here. We start our repeat with a double crochet. And then last stitch in the row is a traditional single crochet going under that V, working under there, doing our traditional single crochet. And now we chain up two and clip our yarn to bind off. And I just wanna show the reason that we're doing, we're starting our repeat over for that one stitch is so that we have an even end to our row that matches with our row beginning. I am too up close to show you guys laid out, but if you take a look, we have four double crochets at the beginning of the row 
and we end with four double crochets down here at the end of the row. So now we're going to begin row five, and that will begin now by adding on color A. So grab up color A. So we will just simply insert here into the first stitch. So we're looking for that V. We're ignoring everything here on the side. We don't want to work into the side. So we're just going to grab now color A and join that on and begin row five. So we draw up our loop and then we will chain one. Allow your tail to fall and go right back here into that very first stitch and complete your traditional single crochet. The repeat for row five begins now. Our repeat's gonna begin with four of our single crochets. So remember, always working there in that back loop. So we'll do four single crochets. So there's one, two, three, four, Now we will do one double crochet right here, very next stitch, dropping down. Three single crochets over the next three stitches. One, two, three, We'll do one double crochet right here in the very next stitch. Sliding down, picking up that front bump, the front loop that's left. One double crochet. And now we will end the repeat by doing three single crochets over these next three stitches. So one, two, And three. That ends our repeat. So we're going to recap that. We started over here by doing four single crochets, one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, and three single crochets. So we're going to start our repeat for row number five again. We begin that repeat now by doing four single crochets, one, two, three, and four. One double crochet. Three single crochets over these next three stitches. One, two, three, one double crochet, and our repeat will end by doing three single crochets over these next three stitches. One, two, and three. So you may pause here and complete the rest of your row working in that same exact set of stitches all the way down and then we'll be meeting up when you are ready to move on to row number six. Row six begins now. This is what your work is looking like after completing the first five rows. We have joined on this time with color B and we're going to begin the repeat for row six now. Our repeat begins by doing three of our drop down double crochets. So we're gonna be wrapping, we're doing our double crochet. Wrap and find the very next stitch, slide down, pick up that front loop, and complete one double crochet. Here's a number two. Remember, we've gotta do three total.
and here's number three. Now we will do two single crochets over these next two stitches. One and two. Three double crochets over the next three stitches. One. Two. and three we will now do two single crochets over the next two stitches so there's one and two and our repeat will end by doing two of our drop down double crochets right here over the next two stitches there's one and two. And that ends our repeat for this row. So let's recap. Our repeat began over here by doing three double crochets. We then did two single crochets, three double crochets, two single crochets, and it ends with two double crochets. So we're going to begin and do our repeat one more time together. So our repeat begins again immediately by doing three double crochets. Here's number one. Number two. And number three. We will now do two single crochets over the next two stitches, working always in that back loop. One and two. We will do three double crochets. There's one, oops, lost it all. Number two. Number three. Two single crochets over the next two stitches. One and two. And we will end the repeat by doing two double crochets over the next two stitches. There's one and number two. And that ends our repeat. So you're going to keep working in the exact same manner all the way down the rest of your row and we'll be meeting back up when you are ready to move on to row number seven and remember into the row you will have two stitches left you will start the repeat for one stitch and then you will do your single crochet the traditional one working under that v here in the very last stitch of the row and that's what's going to help us add our border we'll have a nice even clean edge but it also keeps us nice and straight Row seven begins now by joining on color A this time. So we are doing our traditional single crochet as always here in the first stitch of the row. And now our repeat for row number seven begins by doing three single crochets over these next three stitches. So as always, working in that back loop, there's one, two, and three. Now we will do one double crochet right here in the very next stitch. We will follow that by doing five single crochets working across this section right here. So we're going to do five single crochets. One, two, 
three, four, five. Now we will do one double crochet right here in the very next stitch. Sliding down, picking up that front loop. Now we will end the repeat by doing two single crochets over these next two stitches. There's one and number two. So let's recap our repeat. Our repeat began over here with three single crochets. Then we did one double crochet, five single crochets, one double crochet, and we end the repeat with two single crochets. We're gonna do that all together one more time. So we begin the repeat again now immediately for three single crochets. So there's one, two, and three. Now we will do one double crochet right here, very next stitch. five single crochets over the next five stitches. One, two, three, four, five. One double crochet into the very next stitch. Repeat ends with two single crochets over the next two stitches. One and two. And that ends the repeat. So you are going to pause here and complete the same set of stitches over and over on down the rest of your row. And you will meet back up with me when you are ready to move on to row number eight. As always, we will end the row by starting the repeat right here in the second to last stitch and then we end with a traditional single crochet in the very last stitch so we'll be back for row number eight in just a moment row eight begins now we're going to begin by joining on with color b this time traditional single crochet in that first stitch now the repeat for row number eight begins by doing two double crochets so we are going to Identify our very next stitch, drop down, and complete our double crochet. So there's one and two. We're doing a total of two of these. Now we will be completing this stitch and moving right on along to two single crochets over the next two stitches. So identify that very next stitch. There's one single crochet, and here's number two. We will do two double crochets over these next two stitches. Right here's number one and number two, right here in the very next stitch. One single crochet right here into the very next stitch. One single crochet. Now we will do two double crochets over the next two stitches. One and two. We will do two single crochets over the next two stitches. One and two. And our repeat will end by doing one double crochet right here, very next stitch. So let's recap that repeat. Our repeat began over here with two double crochets. We did two single crochets, two double crochets, one single crochet, two double crochets, 
two single crochets and one double crochet. So now we're gonna do our repeat again together one more time. We're gonna immediately start our repeat by doing two double crochets over these next two stitches. One and two. Now we will do two single crochets over the next two stitches. One and two. We will do two double crochets over the next two stitches. One and two. We will do one single crochet next into the very next stitch. We're going to do two double crochets here into the next two stitches, one in each. There's one and two. And we will do two single crochets over the next two stitches, one and two. And then we will do one double crochet to end the repeat. One double crochet. So that ends our repeat. So you're going to keep working the same set of stitches on down the rest of your row. And then we will meet back up to move on to row number nine. Row nine begins now by joining on with color A this time. We're going to begin our repeat immediately which begins with two of our single crochets. So we're gonna work right there in that back loop. Get where y'all can see. Get that tail out of the way. Come right up there, working in that back loop. I prefer not to work around the tails, but you can, you can work those in if you like. So there's one single crochet, and here's number two. Now we will do one double crochet right here into the very next stitch followed by three single crochets over these next three stitches I'm just gonna insert right there picking up that back loop one two three we will now do one double crochet right here made it to the center gonna drop down finish out a normal double crochet now we will do three single crochets over the next three stitches so here's one two and three we will now do one double crochet right here into the very next stitch And we will end our repeat by doing one single crochet into the very next stitch. So let's recap that repeat. We began over here with two single crochets. We did one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, and then we ended the repeat with one single crochet. So we will begin our repeat again one more time together. We're gonna to begin immediately by doing two single crochets over the next two stitches. There's one, here's number two. We'll do one drop down double crochet right here. Very next stitch. Followed by three single crochets over these next three stitches one two three one double crochet right here in the very next stitch three single crochets over the next three stitches one two and three 
one double crochet very next stitch and we will end our repeat by doing one single crochet into the very next stitch so please pause here and continue to work in that same set of stitches on down the rest of your row meet back up with me when you are ready to move on to row number 10 remember as always you'll just start your repeat again here at the end of the row for one stitch and then you will do your traditional single crochet in the last stitch of the row row 10 begins now by joining on with color b and we will begin our repeat immediately by doing one double crochet into the very next stitch just going to wrap our yarn identify our next stitch slide down picking up that front loop and complete a double crochet now we will do two single crochets over the next two stitches There's one two we will now do two double crochets over the next two stitches there's one and two we'll do three single crochets over the next three stitches one two three two double crochets over the next two stitches one two and then we will end the repeat by doing two single crochets over the next two stitches one and two so let's recap that repeat for row 10 our repeat began over here with one double crochet we did two single crochets, two double crochets, three single crochets right there in the center of our little triangle, two double crochets, and then two single crochets. So we're going to begin that repeat for row 10 again. So it begins right now with one double crochet. Two single crochets over the next two stitches one and two two double crochets one it's number two three single crochets working across that center one two and three two double crochets one two and two single crochets ends our repeat one and two so now you will pause here and keep working that same set of stitches on down the rest of your row and then you will meet back up with me when you're ready to move on to row number 11. Row 11 begins now by joining on with color A this time. So you're going to join on with color A and we are going to begin the repeat for row 11 now which begins with one single crochet. followed by one double crochet we will now do three single crochets over the next three stitches one two and three we will now do one double crochet one single crochet one double crochet
three single crochets over the next three stitches. There's one, two, and three. And then our repeat will end with one double crochet right here. So let's recap that repeat real quick. Repeat began over here with one single crochet. Then we did one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet. So if you take a look at what you're doing, you're just kind of framing out here in the center of this triangle that we're making. We're now going to do the repeat again one more time together. So the repeat for row 11 begins again now. We're going to begin with one single crochet, one double crochet, We will do three single crochets over the next three stitches. Here's one, two, and three. We will now do one double crochet right here into this next stitch. One, now one single crochet right here into this next stitch one double crochet right here into the very next stitch three single crochets over the next three stitches one two and three and our repeat will end with one double crochet right here into the very next stitch so you will pause here and keep working in that same exact set of stitches on down the rest of your row and we will meet back up when you are ready to move on to our final row which is row 12 and then we'll talk about your homework and what you need to complete before we do next week's video row 12 begins now by joining on with color b we're going to begin our repeat for row 12 by doing six single crochets over these next six stitches there's one, here's number two, number three, four, five, and six. Now we will do one double crochet, drop and down right here in the center and we will end the repeat by doing five single crochets over the next five stitches there's one two three four and five Let's recap that real quick. Our repeat began over here when we did six single crochets. We did then did one double crochet there in the center and we ended our repeat with five single crochets. So we're going to start that repeat again right now. So the repeat for row 12 begins with six single crochets. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and six. We do one double crochet right here in the center. It's one of our famous drop downs. And there's one. Now we end the repeat by doing five single crochets over the next five stitches. Two, three, four, and five. So you're going to keep working that same exact set of stitches on down the rest of your row. You'll be completing 
your six single crochets, one double crochet, five single crochets. So essentially you're just working 11 single crochets across here with a drop down right there in that little square that we've created. So you're gonna keep working that exact same manner, finish up this row. Then you will be rewinding back to row three. All of the row start times are down below in the description and you will be working row three through row 12 two more times. So this is one full repeat of the pattern that we've done here, and we need to do this two more times total so that we can be ready to move on to pattern number two next week. I'll insert a picture here at the end of the video so you can see exactly what your work should be looking like when you finish up your three full repeats of this pattern number one to complete the first part of our cow. So as always, I appreciate you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this tutorial, please give this video a thumbs up. Please make sure that you're subscribed so that you don't miss next week's Native Bliss Cow video when it is released on Mosaic Monday or any other tutorial that I do if you do enjoy my teaching style. Until next time, bye for now.